We're going to talk a little bit about undo and redo in this section. And to do that, I'm going to enlarge my top viewport. And we're going to need to have some work done here. So I'll create a square or a cube and another. Though technically, of course, these shapes are not equal on six sides, which means it's a box, but it's not really a cube. Okay, now I'm going to select all of these. Tools, Polygon Mesh from NURBS Object. And I'm just going to turn them into a mesh. This is selecting the complexity of my mesh, my final mesh. Press OK. Then I'm going to press the Delete key. That's going to delete my original surface boxes and leave me with polygon mesh boxes in their place. Now any polygon mesh can be transformed using the transform tools. So we'll highlight, bend, and I'll just do something kind of funky, bend them down to about here. Let's take a look at what we have. As you can see, a pretty uh, ugly, sort of strange geometric shape here. Now if I go to my edit menu, and press undo. We'll undo my last command. I can then redo. And there you have it. Control Z is also the hotkey for that, for undo. And Control Y is redo. Okay, now what about undo multiple? That's going to bring up a dialog box which shows you in a list all of the items that we've done. Now we have to highlight these in order. In other words, if I press number 9, that means everything, steps 1 through 9, is going to be deleted or undone. Or I could just do 2 or 3. So I'll go to step back to step 3, press OK. Then I can go up here and choose Redo Multiple. Well, there's only three steps to redo because that's all that's left. So let's highlight just two of those, press OK. Then I can go back here. Press redo one more time, and that leaves me where I finished. So that's undo and redo.